Hi everybody, it's Kim and welcome to another episode of Come Spin With Me. Oh, I have got to start this timer. I've got to remember to do that. Okay, that was take two of trying to start this timer and I think I got it started this time. Sorry, I do the bloopers in the beginning of my videos instead of at the end like most people do because I'm like, you know, a thrill seeker like that, living on the edge, doing the bloopers first. So happy Wednesday, hump day. I don't think I'm gonna get this up today, so I don't even know why I'm saying that because you guys probably won't even be seeing it until Thursday. Don't care, oh well. Okay, um, I'm recording this on Wednesday during my lunch hour, so hopefully we can get through this without me getting any work calls. But, hi, how was everybody's week? I missed you guys. I haven't seen you since Saturday and some of you I haven't seen since Wednesday. I brought a ton of fiber porn downstairs with me today, a ton. So we are totally gonna get to that right away. Um, but just one thing before we get started. Um, <coughs> I've kind of got this format going where I just say hello and then we do some fiber porn, some yarn porn, um, pause, start segment two and we spin. Is that working for you guys? Is there anything else that you'd like me to add? I'm, uh, I've am i got an entire room of shame upstairs, so I don't think I'm gonna run out of fiber porn anytime soon. So I'm sure I should always have something, you know, fiber-wise to show you. But are you guys getting bored with that? Do you want me to mix it up and do something different? I don't know what I could do, but if you guys have some suggestions, put them down in the comments. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up if you like this so I know and I'll continue to follow this format. It seems to be working for now, but I'm open to change. So anyway, that being said, I have a ton of fiber porn. I went through and did what they call tossing your stash. So I was going through um, digging down into the layers of old stash to see if I could find something from some dyers that maybe I hadn't shown you before. Pardon me, or maybe some uh, different fiber types I hadn't shown you before, and I found a ton of stuff. Whoop, I need a sippy. <laughs> Fabulous cold coffee. Because let me tell you guys, monsoon season has hit. Really? Really? <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. You get to hear Muppets singing, and I'm ignoring it. Okay. First fiber porn that I wanted to show you is one that I mentioned last week, which was a fiber that I got from Kristen Pounders at All Spun Up. And this was the 50-50 silk to merino blend that I told you about that I hadn't spun yet, but oh my God, you guys have got to see this. Okay, first, here's the label. If you can see this. This was a special, gotta make sure we get back in focus. This was a special uh, order thing that she did where she showed us what it was going to look like. Everybody got to order what they wanted and then she died to order and this almost broke her. I think part of her spirit was crushed by uh, just the overwhelming response. Um, people went bananas for this. Um, I got two bumps of it. Holy cow! Can you see this? Holy mackerel. I wish you could feel it. The depth of color in this is spectacular. We've got reds, golds, purples, blues, um, some greens in there. I'm trying to get you a good, good shot of this. Um, it's so hard to photograph something that's this lustrous. But the silk content being 50%, I, I can't even imagine, number one, how thin this is going to spin up, and number two, how shiny it's going to be. Oh, look at that little spot. you got to see that. <gasps> oh, could you die? I just can't. I can't. It's too beautiful. I just can't. That's right. Okay, that is number one. Again, all spun up. Kristen Pounders. Okay, I have another one from her that I wanted to show very quickly. This is a gradient braid. She did a, she did a series of these um, a while back that were a lot of fun where the end of the fiber starts with one color, travels through to the end of the braid. The other end of the braid is a different color and if you spin these directly from the braid, you end up with a gradient yarn as long as you Navajo ply to keep the colors together. And it's a lot of fun. 
I truly enjoy it. So uh, I've spun a few gradients, uh, loop back gradients, and I created some gradients by hand carding some hand uh, hand dyed fibers and separating the colors and doing a gradient that way. Tons of work. This a lot less work for me. Okay, so that is the all spun up that I brought down to show you. Then I thought I'd show you some uh, dyers that I don't think I've shown you before. Here's one called, oh, this is just too beautiful. The name of this colorway is called Bloodletting. It's by Cloud Lover. Oh, holy mackerel, can you see that? In my viewfinder, this color looks a lot more purple than it does in real life. Let's see if this does it. Let me block my face, see if we can get it in a little bit closer. Um, this is actually a deep, um, purpley red like blood, like dark blood, blood that is uh, a little older but not old, still liquidy, still vampire-like. Um, and I think I got the bloodletting colorway on about five different bases that she had that are all up in my fiber room. I don't think that I have spun any of them because they're so beautiful. I just, I just can't. I can't. They're gorgeous. Okay. Um, let's see. I have two from another dyer that I haven't shown you before. This is a dyer called Four Rivers Yarn and Fiber. This is a hand dyed BFL on the colorway Orchard. I absolutely fell in love with this colorway. I purchased these on Etsy. She did, um, the way she would normally dye these is she would dye um, three at a time. So you could usually get three that were very similar. Um, they would start seriously, seriously. Oh my God, this phone is crazy. But you could get three of them and they would range in intensity just a little bit because the, you know, because of the way they would take dye, but they would be the same colorway. And I got all three of these, I think. I think I got all three of the orchards. I don't know. I found this one to show you. <laughs> Hopefully I find the other two when it comes time to spin. And then another one from Four Rivers, and this one is called Autumn Kiss. And this was for the um, December 2011 uh, spin along where they dyed a couple of, I think a couple of different colorways up and you got to uh, purchase the ones that you wanted and they would dye to order. And I believe, I believe that's how it went, but I picked the Autumn Kiss because do you notice the theme here? There are a lot of reds in these and I'm really sorry if they're not showing up well on the video because in the viewfinder they just don't look as uh, red as they do in real life so sorry about that okay i have got one minute left so i'm going to pause this and restart and finish the fiber porn portion and then we will do the spinning portion so i'll i'll be right back to you you won't even notice hang on okay start the timer again ah I remembered. Okay, um, the last two fibers that I brought down are from To It By Hand. <laughs> I think they make an appearance every week, and this, I think, is probably the first week I haven't shown you a fiber from David over at Southern Cross. Shame on me. Um, anyway, I brought down two from To It By Hand. The first one died by Maria. And I'm not sure if I have shown you guys this one before, but I don't think I have. It's called Diggory. And I want to get the whole braid so you can see. It starts with reds kind of on this end, and then it moves into some purples and greens, and then it travels back to the greens with a little pale, like periwinkle purple right, right about there. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous skein. Ugh. These reds are so autumnal um, in their tone. I think it's a very pretty autumn yarn anyway. I would love to spin it. And anywhere you put purple and green together, vineyard. I always think of a vineyard. And this reminds me a little bit of a vineyard. Where I'm in the vineyard drinking red wine. Is it any wonder I like that fiber? <laughs> okay. And the very last one I'm going to show you, the piece de resistance is by two of my hand. I believe this is dyed by Jalen. 
who else would do this? And this is one of, well, I would say this is, in my opinion, the number one most iconic, most legendary, and most requested colorway that Two If My Hand has ever created. It has um, a group, or a thread at least, all its own on their Ravelry group, Two If By Hand. I think it's called Two If By Hand Lovers. You should check it out. Um, as always, check out all of their stuff. They have a shop, um, they do updates, just Google Two If By Hand. Um, I think they're on, I think they're on Big Cartel now. They're not on Etsy anymore for sure, I know that. But I believe they're on Big Cartel, but go to their Ravelry group and they announce all their updates. But this colorway is, I can't. I have no words. Do you hear angels singing? Because I hear angels singing. This colorway has, I think, just about, oh my god, look at that, every color in the rainbow in it. Whiz bangs. Whiz bangs. Is that not amazing? The very first braid of whiz bangs that I got, and I believe it was, this is, I'm sorry, this is whiz bangs in Polworth silk. Is that going to focus? And then will it focus back on us? Um, the very first braid of whiz bangs that I ever bought, I believe was on uh, BFL, Blue Face Lester, uh, and I spun it. And while I was spinning it, one of the gals at the uh, yarn shop at Tempe Yarn and Fiber, where we film our Come Knit With Us episodes, one of the gals, one of the regulars there, Lori, had uh, fallen in love with the skein. She just fell in love with it while I was spinning it. So I figured, okay, I can always get more. So I spun it, Navajo plied it. It was going to make some amazing stripy socks. And I gave it to Tempe Yarn and Fiber to sell, thinking that probably that way Lori could get it. And I, I don't think she bought it. I think somebody else did, which I felt really bad. But um, I spun it up and sold it and regretted it every second after I let it go. Oh my God. And since then I have been hoarding this braid because it's in my favorite uh, fiber combo of all time, Polar Silk. I have got to spin that up and I have got to make myself some socks. I have to, I have to, it's the law. There are whiz bang socks all over Ravelry. Do yourself a favor, go to Ravelry, do a search in the projects, in the whatever, whiz bang socks. You won't be sorry. You won't be sorry. You will thank me. You will thank me later. Okay, that's it for fiber porn. I'm going to go ahead and set up my wheel and I'll be right back for the spinning portion of today's video. Hang on. Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm back. I think the lighting when I uh, aim this camera down is just awful and I'm really sorry about that. But um, this is the best way that I can get... Um, remember my timer sorry this is the best way for me to get uh, the angle that you can actually see the spinning and the wheel and I know that's what you guys come for is the spinning so while I'm doing this I would just like to take this opportunity to say I'm really sorry for all the buxomness that is filling the screen today but it is hotter than Hades because, of course, I live three miles south of Hades. And it is monsoon season in the desert right now, which means that the humidity is going up, the heat is going up because the high pressure is sitting over us, but we don't quite have enough moisture in the air to get any kind of storm activity yet, so it is just miserably hot absolutely miserably hot. Just uh, opening the blinds to let the light in for filming caused my air conditioner to kick on. <laughs> I laugh when I say that because that insinuates that it was off at some point today and I find that uh, very funny and highly unlikely that it was off at any point. It's going to be um, supposed to be 112 today. It was 111 here at the house yesterday. A misery. 
but tomorrow I am off, um, off work, so I'm not having to drive into the office tomorrow, which is wonderful. And I think that we are going to go over, Amy and I are going to go over to the neighbors for a quick swim, um, a little bit earlier than our normal 3.30, because I usually have to wait until I'm done with work, and then we go over... Um, once a week at least, we try for twice, but work usually gets in the way. But my little puppy, Amy, if you guys haven't seen her, uh-oh, I just heard a beep from my work, so hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, even when I'm having lunch, sometimes I get those instant messages from work that I have to respond to. Oh, but that'll make for a little bit of bonus footage today since I had to reset my timer. Good Lord, I'm gonna end up with a 30 minute spinning video, which usually is only 20 minutes. And I completely, completely lost my train of thought, but I I think all I was doing was complaining about the heat. <laughs> typical. Typical of me. But yeah. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was talking about going swimming over at the neighbors because my, uh, my dog is a lab. She's a yellow lab that I think some, some would call her a white lab because she is very, very light. Uh, Colored. She's not really yellow so much as she's white with a couple of little yellow spots on her back. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have posted a little um, Instagram video the last two weeks each time I've taken her over to go swimming so that uh, anybody who was interested could see a little video of her enjoying the neighbor's pool. I don't know what we would do without our neighbors. I just... I love them so much. We are so, so, so lucky to have neighbors like uh, we have. They are just incredible. And I think I've mentioned before that when they uh, built the house that they're in, oh, good Lord, seriously, again? This is silly. This is silly. I will be right back. Hold on. Okay, let's keep going or let's try this again sorry I feel terrible with all these interruptions although if I edited this correctly you guys would never even know that we had been interrupted oh I'm shedding everywhere it's that uh, time of the year number one because it's summer and a million people at my office travel for vacations and then it's the holiday weekend so our office is closed on Friday so apparently everybody um, with the exception of me and people that need stuff well a couple a handful of people that need stuff done by other people uh, all took off vacation this week because I swear I every single person I tried to call today every single person that I tried to call no answer no answer and if their machine picked up, I got the, I will be on vacation until blah, 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 which is next week. So apparently uh, there's nobody at the office today and everybody that needs something has to call me because there's nobody else available to do anything, I guess. So uh, sorry, sorry about the interruptions. Anywho, I was trying to say that my dog loves swimming in the neighbor's pool and we love them so much and that luckily when they built their house, they uh, included a pool specifically because they had two yellow labs, that uh, one of which loved to swim the way my Amy loves to swim. And that was their uh, female lab. Uh, her name was... Uh, Oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my God, her name flew right out of my head. And it shouldn't because it starts with the same letter that my dog's does, Annie. Their dog's name, their female dog's name was Annie. 
and she passed away unfortunately and that's how we got to be so close because um, I had just just become acquainted with them because I would run into them when I was walking Amy and I have been walking her every day since basically since I brought her home for my son <laughs> for his birthday I've walked her every day um, except this this summer she hasn't been walked because of the heat but even when she was a little puppy I would walk her every morning and I would run into them walking their dogs and we would say hello and wave and I had walked with them a few times but we had never really spent any you know time together other than us walking the dogs but when Annie passed uh, Gary saw me walking Amy one morning and asked me if I would please um, come over that weekend for a little picnic barbecue thing and swimming because uh, Shar was having a very very difficult time uh, having just lost Annie and Gary thought that it would be good for her to um, see Amy and also you know to spend some time and have two dogs in the yard instead of one because that just reminded her so much of the absence and he just thought that it would be good for her to be around people um, so we did we went over to go swimming I went over we took Amy and uh, my son and my husband and I and we went over and we have been extremely close friends ever since and I just I don't know what I would do without them they are so wonderful I hear stories from people all the time sometimes they're funny and most often they're uh, horrifying <laughs> about the kind of you know neighbors that they have and I know how lucky we are because I know how bad it can be and there is nothing worse than owning a home that is right next door to someone that you hate or that you can't stand or that is just an awful neighbor that's I just I can't imagine having to live that way and we are just so so fortunate that we don't have at least knock on wood so far we don't haven't had that problem and I just love them to tears I do so I'm getting to a darker section of this wicker work I still really am enjoying this uh, extra fine merino. Oh, I did get to see, by the way, a sneak peek at the Hello Yarn uh, Forum on Ravelry, a sneak peek of my next fiber delivery. It'll be my second fiber since I became a club member, and I can't remember the name of it, but um, there's a link that you can take to see a sneak peek of the next uh, colorway once she's ready to ship it all out and I got to see that yesterday and it is beautiful so the next fiber that I the next fiber club delivery that I get from Adrian over at Hello Yarns is going to be stunning absolutely stunning but I'll tell you what um, tossing this stash of mine up in the room of shame every week for these uh, spinning videos so that I can give you some fiber porn I am digging up some absolutely gorgeous fibers and you know not that I can recall ever buying you know a fiber that I didn't want to spin that would be silly um, I am surprised by how much fiber I have that is just it, 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 so beautiful I can't even imagine not spinning it next and I've got like you know 50 braids of that so far that I've dug out since I started spinning these or doing these spinning videos so I'm not sure what is going to go on the bobbins after this wicker work we will have to see but I can tell you that I am feeling the red vibe pretty strong so it might have to be something with red in it or maybe it'll be the whiz bangs or maybe it will be uh, to it by hand I've got some absolutely beautiful uh, fibers called let's see I saw them when I went upstairs today freak show that's a stunning colorway as is uh, oh and my alarm is going on freak show and radical librarian 
absolutely amazing. Okay, so let me reset this so that we're not... Um, <laughs> okay, that'll do. Um, anyway, that's it um, for this episode. I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the yarn porn and the, the spinning was... Um, gosh, this lighting. Oh! I hate this lighting. I'm so sorry. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, like I said in the beginning, if there's a format that you'd rather I follow, if there's some suggestions you have for some additional feature that I could do, um, right now it's yarn porn if I've got any, fiber porn each week, and the spinning segment, which is working out well for me because I get some spinning done. But if there's something else that you'd like to see or some question you have, um, feel free to put it down in the comment section and I'll consider it. And if it's something that I can do, I'll do it. Um, and if it's something I can't do, I'll let you know that I can't do it. But um, I really enjoy these uh, spinning videos. I really enjoy getting to spend extra time with you. So, again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.